forever. Dog. I don't know. I'm kind of like a little menace today. Are you? Yeah, I'm just like, I have adrenaline today. You identify as a little menace? Mac the Menace. Oh, Mac the Menace. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then you dance. Really weird. I, was that it's a Mac dance or was menace, that like threat? Menacing the internet was- <laughs> with its weird dancing. <laughs> yes. I said it. It? You said it. <laughs> Pronoun swap for the menace. <laughs> I said it. It's Mac the Menace with its tiny little arms coming to get you. It's very T-Rex. Like, who are you fighting? I'm, I'm just ready. <laughs> I'm ready for anything. Is this happening again where you can see Ashley but I can't? Oh my God, Mac? you're so annoying. Can you hear me? Oh, you guys are doing a thing. You're I doing can a thing. hear you, Elena. I can see Ashley. I wish I couldn't, so I didn't have to fucking go through this again. <laughs> we are unable to subscribe to the participant. Please check your internet connection and reload the page. Subscribe to the participant. That's is not what real. Ashley's screen is saying to me. <laughs> Elena, you just, you just gave it away. She can't hear you, Yes, bro. she did. She responded to what I said. I put in i said a it's sentence and then elena responded no no you guys tried to do a thing that's why you came in at exactly it's the actually same time. talking about he's, my he's, genitals oh in her my mouth again God. <laughs> she's not talking about you that guys but are full she can't hear you so let's not give her any ideas please please okay i'm not recording hold on please? okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave and come back I'll be right back not recording okay <laughs> Yeah, right. You, Elena really Ashley, botched it. Elena fucked it either up this way, time. Either way, either way, you can't be mad at me because either way, I'm not participating in it willingly. I'm being put in this position. You're of pranks. So it was your fucking idea. Listener, write in. Do you think that they're full of it? Hello, I hello. Oh, okay. I can see you now and I can hear you. Oh, this is strange. Didn't go the way you wanted to, did it, Elena? No, what? you're just like in a different order. Every single oh. time we've ever recorded... Ashley, you've been in the middle, and then Mac, you've been on the side. Yeah, me. wait, you're right. And Mac, you're in the middle. You're in the middle, Mac. <gasps> Ashley's you're in the middle for me. Literally in between us, in between mom and dad. How does it feel? Aww. Well, I'm a, I'm on the side for myself, so oh, it's not the same. Maybe I can it's- like move myself. <laughs> no, never mind. That was no. embarrassing to try. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Chosen Family <laughs> Podcast. Three minutes in, we're your gay family because you don't have a family because you're gay, you little piece of shit. (laughs) So you need us to give us all your love and and attention and validation. And I will do that for you because I am your father, (laughs) Ashley Gavin. And meet my wife. Ex-wife, ex-wife, (laughs) ex-wife. I will also do that for you, but I'm going to do it with less shouting. My name's Elena Joy. I'm your mom. I'm not going to do it for you. I am you. Yeah, Matt, I'm Matt. just like you. I am the hot teenage brother. Baby. Mac, Mac is Jimmy. baby. Mac so and Mac, Jimmy, Mac baby. needs our love and validation as well. Just um, like and every you. week we answer your questions or we don't. And then <laughs> yeah. around the family dinner table. And I decided I need to be better about plugging my tour dates. Come watch stand up comedy and have a good time. I'm in St. Louis, Indianapolis, Orlando, Sacramento. L.A., San Francisco, uh, San Diego. Those are the next upcoming ones. And I might be at the St. Louis show, probably. Yay. <sighs> I would say there's like a I would say there's like a 72 percent chance I'll be at Yay. that show. That's a pretty but good. I'll, that's I'll a pretty keep everybody updated. Percentage. Yeah. Just ran the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Should I we do updates? The stats. <laughs> just analyze the data. But sure. Let's do updates. Yeah. There's flies everywhere in my apartment right now, so. <laughs> this is the most, like, child They're listening to me. Mom and dad. What's going They're on like, with the well, flies? Well, are, I've are been leaving my. Yeah, I've been leaving my back door open so that, because I like fresh air. That'll do it. And my windows don't really open. And so the flies have been coming in. And the option is to get a fly swatter, but I don't think cat. I could go through with it. You get a cat. Go through with swatting a fly. I don't because then I think about like they probably have like a little fly, fly family, family and like yeah. speaking you're talking about flies cue bugs she's a fly Hello. hunter Hello, bugs. do you ever hold bugs up to the ceiling so that she can get one on the ceiling no because out here there's like 
not really very many bugs. Like, it's weird. There's no screens on the windows here. There's no screens in the doors. People just, like, leave their windows wide open because there aren't really bugs. I, well, that's I nice. think that's a sign of the apocalypse. I've been no- oh. Since I grew up, there are fewer and fewer mosquitoes. And oh. I'm like, why are there fewer and fewer mosquitoes? Maybe you're mm-hmm. just not as sweet as you used to be. No, no. <laughs> if anything, I'm sweeter. And <laughs> I'm glad Elena at least. If anything, I'm actually the sweetest I've ever been. I'm, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> the sweetest I've ever been. I've actually I'm never just, been sweeter in my I'm, whole life. I'm just feeling sassy today because I was woken up abruptly during a nightmare by a certain well, woman. Isn't that a good thing? Wait, yeah, sorry. That took a turn. Don't you want to be woken up abruptly? Wait, Elena, night? what time do you wake up? Today or generally? G- generally. Like seven. Okay. Six, that makes what sense. time do you wake up, Mac? Um, I've been waking up at like 8.30 now. But Wait, I used to ask? wake up at like 11 because of time difference with me and my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I was just honestly curious. Early to Ashley, bed, I what go, about I you? Go to sleep early. Well, I'm a comedian. So sometimes I don't oh, get yeah. home till 1. Yeah. So I That's tend disgusting. to go to bed at like one or two and wake up at like ten. As long as you're getting the sleep in, yeah. Sometimes and sometimes I sleep till eleven because I have a five a.m. flight, and because and, and, it was a difficult difficult time timing. And then sometimes your girlfriend <laughs> runs into the room, just wants you to wake up and screams at you in your nightmare. Wait, so who was having the nightmare? I was yeah, you need nightmare. to elaborate Losing a little the, bit. The narrative. It sounds like she saved you. Yeah. It, it she sounds did. like you should be saying, thank you, Jen. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. You Here are my go. hero, That's Jen. <laughs> Say it. You're my Say hero, it. You're my hero Jen. Much. I was going to say that might be too I much I love you so much, hit. Jen. I love you. I, love, I tell Jen I love her like every minute say, of the day. I'm, I'm, you, I'm your little princess mask. <laughs> there we go. That's 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 more. I love Jen. I'm your little princess mask. Okay, now tell her three things you like about her. <laughs> three things I like about you. She's she always like wants to like the minute I wake up, she is so happy to see me. It's the most oh, loving, beautiful thing. She like wakes, really she cute. smiles. It's like the most glorious way to wake up on the planet when you're not being screamed at. And glorious. <laughs> <laughs> she's putting in her headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Three, uh, um, second thing we love about Jen she Second sets thing we boundary. love about Jen She's funny Well she sets a boundary Third thing we love about Jen She's the funniest She's the funniest person In the entire world And she just makes me feel really Loved and cared for <laughs> Oh <laughs> What? It's just so Me and Mac nice feel lonely right now. Yeah wait why do you, What's your why do, you, why do you feel lonely What? This is my island Leave me alone my girlfriend's at work. <laughs> I should oh. leave. I should leave right now. I like your shirt, Elena. Thank oh, you. Thank I you. got it this weekend. Elena. Sorry. In what? Where did you get? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like your shirt, Elena. <clears throat> Mac. Thank you. Um, I got it this weekend. There's a store around. It is a nice shirt. Like. Thank you. Green is a good color for you. Thank yeah, like you. like forest green. Thank you. I, w- I got dressed yesterday for class, my God, because I'm in my <laughs> master's program now. You know, just like getting dressed for class, like living my little student life. <laughs> and I was wearing this shirt and my little, um, this like little brown jacket with my little brown bag and some olive tone, whatever. I had a bunch of different kind of shades of this. And my girlfriend said I was dressed like 50 shades of olive. Don't get you, me started today. I'm trying to hold back on the references did people, today. Did people recognize you at school? Yeah, I was also wondering that. <laughs> yes. How did that make yeah, you feel? Interesting. The ones on campus, just like walking around campus, normal, right? It's like, oh, cool. It's kind of funny because one person, people don't think I'm there studying. Like the, the you're there making content, me, obviously. No, the the person who recognized me, she asked if she could take a picture. We took a picture, and she was like, "So are you here, like giving a talk or something?" And I, I was like, <laughs> You're no. laughing, but that's like so. That's such a possibility. <laughs> like, yeah. So why aren't you watching? I have given Elena's a talk podcast. at school before, <laughs> where she gives that's life updates where you would fucking know if she was. She gives talks here every fan. week. Fake fan. No, to be fair, that person said that their friend was a fan, and they wanted to take a picture for their friend. So I don't Lies. blame them that they that they didn't know. Friend. Um, 
And then there's really? one person. That's what she said? And she mm. said, that, oh, how convenient, actually. She said her friend lives in Seattle. <laughs> sure. Convenient. Nobody has friends in Seattle. <laughs> Nobody's in Seattle. That's not true. <laughs> Ashley. I was just but there then, and I sold like 2,800 tickets. So there are people in Seattle. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just, I'm high from it. Wow. Really appreciate. Keep Take going. Appreciate Talk about school. Ashley's Shut success. up. Um, <laughs> I'm a disabled then, woman. Don't make fun of how I wave my hand. There it is. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Thank you. Bow, bow um, your head in shame, both of you. Bow your head in disabled shame. Ableism well, shame. That's the yeah, ableism ab- shame. I'm starting shame. to see why the mosquitoes aren't biting you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sweeter than I've ever been. Bow your head in shame. <laughs> Submit to me. <laughs> Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well with dinners that work for you, not the other way around. Get everything you need at Green Market, our one-stop shop for quick breakfast, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, and more that you can easily add on to your weekly order. I love Green Chef because they're sustainable. They offset all of their plastic and fuel emissions. It makes me feel good knowing that I'm doing something nice for the planet as well as eating a delicious meal. Celebrate summer with seasonal recipes featuring certified organic and sustainably sourced ingredients. Now choose from 50 plus weekly menu and market items with the option to mix and match meals in the same box without changing your plan. Plus, cut down on meal prepping with pre-portioned and prepped ingredients, including pre-measured sauces, spices, and dressings. Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh, and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. Go to greenchef.com slash chosenfamily60 and use code chosenfamily60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash chosenfamily60. Use code chosenfamily60 and get 60% off plus free shipping. Okay, Elena, you have Sorry. fans everywhere. Everyone at school is obsessed with you. Go ahead. No, that's not what I was saying at all. But there was there's one person in one of my classes who knows my stuff. Um, and that was actually really nice because I've entered the program at kind of a strange time where like everybody else in the class has already been because st- I'm starting early. So oh. everybody else in the class has kind of been in this cohort for a year together already. And I'm like, hi, I'm the new kid. I don't know anybody. So it was actually really Good nice. Good thing I have 400,000 subscribers. <laughs> You're a novelty. I have friends everywhere. Um, so then, yeah, I got, then I talked to her. <laughs> That's really nice, actually. Yeah. No, it was nice. You're like the fun new classmate from out of town. Like everyone's obsessed with Elena. Like you're so Bella right now. <laughs> <laughs> wait i had that to take- that was handed to me wait doesn't that take place in seattle no forks washington i actually thought you were correct though for a second <laughs> yeah your face your preemptively face jumped. but it's definitely it's definitely like in washington it's rainy it's forks washington where's forks washington we have to find out not seattle uh wait is seattle never mind i'm not gonna say those hold on so stupid we're gonna find out right now oh wow that is a such a random play you know like you know it's poorly written when yeah it's not far from seattle yeah i it should we it's pacific northwest do you guys want to go to forks (laughs) do you guys want to like go there meet and greet in forks washington i would love that i have a viewer in seattle apparently so that's enough. I have 2,800 viewers. In- <laughs> okay. Okay, Ashley, you started this by saying that you needed to plug your tour dates more and then followed it by being like, just sold 2,800 in one city. <laughs> well, that, because that's like my biggest market. That's my biggest market. That's why I'm, yeah. yeah. Um, Seattle? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so that's my thing. I started my, I started school. Holy cow. And how are you feeling about it? Good. Um, it's a, it's a lot. Just there's mm-hmm. a lot going on in life all simultaneously right now. Um, the actual being in class and like learning and the content, the material is really exciting. So do you have homework? It's good. Yes. Homework really stresses me out. Is it stressful? Uh, a little bit. The readings, no, because it's really it's actually interesting and I like reading. So that's not stressful. 
Um, but the papers, because writing papers mm. is stressful. So have yeah. you had to write a paper already? No, but I'm working on the first one because yeah, there's a bunch that are coming up. Wow. 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 Yeah. So trying Godspeed. to you know work that into an already kind of hectic schedule is like. Mm-hmm. It's also just like so boring compared to reacting to actually good TikTok <laughs> lesbian TikTok. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like when it's you can like, sit down for two hours and bang out an actually good reaction video mm-hmm. actually good lesbian tiktoks reaction video com- compared to like writing a paper i'm thinking about seeing if i can just do that like instead of an assignment or two i think given that they are already familiar with your work clearly and they know the good you're doing for the community they'll probably yeah the important that yeah like really the the necessity of me looking at hot lesbians on the internet it is it is a necessity. Um, for many I think of us. it's very important. Thanks, Mac. <laughs> I think you guys are kidding, but I'm serious. Okay, were you serious or kidding when you said when I texted in the group and said, see you guys soon? Oh, I was pulling your leg. Because <laughs> I texted in the group and I said, See you guys soon. See you guys soon. And Mac goes, Wow, so true. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if that's ruthless sarcasm or if you're being genuine, I don't know. I'm but... kind of like a little menace today. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, oh, I have adrenaline today. You identify as a little menace? I, <laughs> I would love to start introducing myself that way. That also feels like a nice Mac middle ground between baby and hot. Yeah. T- oh, Mac the Menace. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then you dance. Really weird. I, was that it's a Mac dance or was menace, that like threat? Menacing the internet was... with its weird <laughs> dancing. Yes. I said it. It? You said it. <laughs> Pronoun swap for the menace. <laughs> I said... It's Mac the Menace with its tiny little arms coming to get you. It's very T Rex. <gasps> like, who are you fighting? I'm, I'm just ready. <laughs> I'm ready for anything. You look like a choose your character. <laughs> yes. Mac the Menace. Come say hi. Listener, write in. Would you choose me in a lineup for your favorite video game? That made me sound old. <laughs> I was like, what crime did you commit? Hi, hi Jen. Jen. You're a single thing, but hello. Hi, Mac. Hi, Mac. Oh. How are you? Tell hi, them Jen. how you woke me up today. I screamed in her face. I said, get up, you lazy piece of shit. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> And it worked. So wait, so that was the nightmare? The nightmare was real life? No, that's or? my fantasy. That she oh. just comes over and calls me a lazy piece of shit in the meanest way. She, and can you can you tell she just can't be mean? Yes. Even when she's being yes. mean, yes. she's like the sweetest. Get up, get up, get it's up. Like when, it's like when you talk to your dog and you like say mean things but in a nice tone so they don't know. Yeah. You're the dog, actually. I am the dog. That's for sure. <laughs> Ashley, you lazy piece of shit. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Ashley. She did not do that. I was just, it's, Sydney came in, and I had forgotten that Sydney was coming in. To wow. Clean. Group sleepover. Everyone's in your room in the morning. <laughs> in my apartment. I would freak out. But <laughs> what was your nightmare about? My night, so this is one of those weird nightmares where it's not actually scary sounding to you, but we were at a restaurant. And it was like a special occasion. It was like Valentine's Day or something. And we all had to fight for our food. We had to like, like they wouldn't bring the, f- they brought the food to the most insistent customer. And I didn't know the rules. Oh, so like everyone cool. was like being really rowdy and, and it was really stressful. This feels like you're plugging the new Hunger Games movie, but <laughs> oh, are we moving your nightmare is Twilight? plugging. No, I I'm like just, Hunger Games. I did Hunger Games for a after franchise. Twilight. We're on track. <sighs> didn't even mean to should we do questions wait are we have we done updates mac why are you filled with adrenaline and being a menace uh i can't really talk about it but my personal life is kind of insane right now Mm -hmm. we'll have to talk off pod Mm -hmm. ashley knows about it shit's getting wild and you know what actually i would like to say thank you to the listener because anytime i say something like that where i can't dive into it whisper no (laughs) whisper no Anytime I say something like this on the podcast where I'm like, shit's getting crazy or like I'm having a hard time or something Mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. People on the podcast don't like try to dig 
and figure mm. it out you know what i mean yeah like on other platforms just people let, are like digging and they're like life. it's this yeah. it's this it's this mm-hmm. i saw this in like two years ago i saw you post this and mm-hmm. this comment resurfaced on it and blah 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 and like so you're upset about that or something like that yeah. people on podcasts are just like i hope you're doing okay and i love you guys for that and i genuinely appreciate that so much mm-hmm. but anyway shit's getting crazy it'll be okay mm-hmm. it sounds like it but it's happening <laughs> it's happening it's happening I get there's this, nothing this, Mac the Menace isn't prepared for. Yeah, your for. Like, stance makes more sense now in that context. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I would also be Mac the Menace. Oh, I'm Mac the Menace. You're Mac the Menace. We all have a little Mac the Menace in us. There's Mac a the Mac Menace merch the Menace in all of us. Mac Maybe. the Menace. Yes. <laughs> okay, Ashley, do you have an update? Not really. I mean, I'm I I have a little break. I have two weeks off from touring, so that's nice. I, this isn't going to matter to anybody, but I got... Okay. Uh, hey, Jenny. Do you mind handing me that envelope? Did Jenny. you just call her Jenny? That was really cute. That's my mom. Like, my mom goes by Jenny. Sometimes I call her Jenny. That um, was, like, so wifey of you. When you're in at a club... so a little masky princess of you. That was very Mac the Menace. <laughs> when, when you're in at a club, they'll, like, put your picture on the wall. And, like, I don't know if you've walked into a club, you see, it's, like, kind of more yeah. New York oh, City. Oh, yeah. But, like, I'm not on any walls at any clubs. I, I This is, like, I don't have, like, a home club in New York. Like, I I never really had, like, a clique of comedians. I never really had, like, a comedian mentor. Like, my career has just been really kind of all over the place. And one mm-hmm. of the most legendary clubs in, in the United States and, therefore, on the planet is, is Zanies in uh, Nashville and it's so funny because my fans have never seen stand up so they go into Zanies and I literally was like this is a legendary club like you guys should come back and like not one clap not <laughs> one clap of like my appreciation of the venue people just going mm-hmm. but but you know it, it just like I was like oh this space yeah. means a lot to me because of the people who like came before me in this space and they were like uh-huh, uh-huh. they're like Shannon Beverage <laughs> <laughs> exactly if shannon <laughs> beverage were on the wall in zanies yeah. Yeah. and that's like what it means to be on the wall and they took um <laughs> see this they took a photo of me and it's just such a great photo and they put it on the wall in zanies so oh it's, wow. that's so cool it's, it's my first it's my first club wall and like the fact that it's zanies in nashville is yeah. like a really big deal okay. to me not to like burst your bubble but you are on the springfield blue room club wall no, no, no. Not that's like that's I know different. because I delivered the picture. <laughs> Max like I delivered not the to, picture. Not to burst your bubble, but really she's like kind of bursting. She's like, "Well, to burst my own bubble." That's different because you that's actually like are on a wall. they take like the fly. That's like very like they take the flyer from the show and like everybody everybody yeah, nobody gets that. cares about the blue room, oh. Mac. No, the blue room is a great institution. But um <laughs> the like they don't put anybody on the wall at zany's they like it's like you have unlike to earn the blue it. room unlike the blue room ashley <laughs> if you ever i'm actually get on, on the wall, wall at the blue room <laughs> <laughs> they have a separate lesbian content wall at the blue yes. room yes. <laughs> ashley if you ever need to get on a wall <laughs> you know who to call Mac the Menace. Mac the Menace. Mac the menace. <laughs> Just taking lesbian headshots and putting them on the wall. will get you places. <laughs> Sorry, it, it will get it. you places. Mac, it. it. <sighs> so that's my update. Not, no, that's a crazy. good update. You seem really, like, calm. What? You? I don't know. Today you seem, kind, you seem like, relaxed. Yeah, you haven't screamed at the listeners really very much. No, I screamed. Only a little bit. Uh... Is that just me? Are you picking up on that with Bono? (laughs) With Bono, what in? Did I (laughs) scream at you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, at the beginning, I think you screamed about something. But like, I don't know. You just seem like peaceful. Well, I've been really good about taking my days off. I've taken one day off every week, right, right, Jen? For she's (laughs) fully working. I'm harassing you. Uh, We've taken one day off like every week for three weeks, right? Yeah, I've taken a day off every wow. week. Wow. Okay. 
three that's weeks. It streak. shows. That's like huge for me. That, that yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna take one off tomorrow and. Good yeah, I'm you. like, I'm still, I'm just trying to let go a little bit more. I think. Mm-hmm. Well, do um, you guys want to do a question from our Patreon? Our bum, Patreon bum, 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 slash bum, bum, Chosen bum, bum, Family bum, podcast subscribers bum, 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 who get preference on their questions. This is. Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. This has been a message from Mac the Menace. Mac the Menace. Patreon.com slash Chosen Family podcast to join our private Discord and get your question answered. On ZocDoc, finding the doctor that's right for you is seamless. The quality care you need is just a few taps away in the ZocDoc app. Listener, I'm a big fan of ZocDoc. I've used it several times. It's so easy to find a doctor for whatever I'm going through. And trust me, I'm always going through a lot. And I can look at that doctor's ratings and reviews, make sure that their specialty is is just for me and fits with what I have going on and that it's near to my home. It's great. I absolutely love ZocDoc. When you're not feeling your best and just trying to hold it together, finding great care shouldn't take up all of your energy. That's where ZocDoc comes in. Using their free app, you can find the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Book an appointment with a few tabs in their app and start feeling better faster with ZocDoc. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. Go to ZocDoc.com slash chosen and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash chosen. ZocDoc.com slash chosen. Um, okay. Any advice for managing daily life and others' expectations when dealing with health issues? Chronic fatigue and chronic migraine. Um, I feel judged for needing more downtime than the average person, but I know I'll be completely burnt out if I don't take it. I feel like people don't really understand and they think I'm just lazy. Would appreciate any tips. This feels like a question for Mac. Mac the Menace doesn't believe in chronic illness, actually. <laughs> Mac the Menace is the one telling this person that they're lazy. Yeah, that's me. I'm the one making them feel guilty. Yes. Well, um, I might be... The, oh my God. Why? Uh, okay, I do feel like a little bit of an imposter when it comes to questions like this because I feel like I have it pretty fucking easy uh, mm. compared to a lot of people. Well, sometimes I I get that feeling, you know, with people asking about um, coming out to to homophobic family members and Mm -hmm. the Mm -hmm. non-acceptance piece and all of that. Sometimes I feel like an imposter speaking on it because I've been so incredibly lucky to have people in my life that, you know, that have supported and accepted me from jump. So I get I get what what you're saying. Yeah, I feel a little bit of imposter syndrome. That being said, I I think it's like anything else where it's like if you establish with your friends, if you have the one small, and I think this is going to be short, but like if you have the small conversation where you say to your friends, hey, there are going to be times where there's, I just have to say no and please don't push me Mm -hmm. on it. And, Mm -hmm. you know, not that you want to go this direction, but like I've definitely had friends push me on it and to yield bad results. And my friends have seen the results. And I don't think it's necessarily bad that they see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I think yeah, you, that makes you sense. Get to have mm-hmm. the vulnerability of just being like, this is what happens when I don't say no. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, um, one time I a friend of mine opened for me in California and I've been performing all weekend. And he was like, um, you know, it was a uh, ski season. So he was like, let's let's drive an hour or two and let's do a day of skiing. And I was like, okay, but we we can't get up before 10. And he was like, oh, no, we want to hit the slopes or whatever. And we hit the slopes. And then I had like a fucking pain meltdown like after the next day. And he saw it and he was like, oh, shit, like mm-hmm. you really can't do this. And you shouldn't have to go through with that to, for someone to take I was going to say, I hate that it got to that point that you had to like actually be yeah. in the pain to like show people that it's That legit. being said, like. I'm not saying do that to yourself, but what I'm saying is you can say to someone, I, this is what this will do to me. And it's not yeah. pretty and it's not nice. And I don't like telling you that. But if, if, if someone doesn't value that boundary, 
that's not like a great friend if i'm gonna be totally mm-hmm. honest red and, flag and you have to value yourself enough to like be honest and open and vulnerable about it um because if it's coming from you that's a you problem but if it's coming from them you you have to establish that difference you know what i'm saying well yes yeah. and that's that's where my head went with this question is like you can't control whether or not somebody else is going to judge you you can't control whether or not somebody else is going to think that you're lazy it feels like well i mean all of us can relate to this but we've internalized that messaging somehow like it it doesn't affect you in the same way if someone judges you if you haven't if you don't believe that on some level right yes yeah. yes, yes so true. it's like a question of how do you like others expectations I think what Ashley said, that's a perfect way to, to handle that is with honesty and saying, nope, this is where I'm at. This is what I need. But then the next the next level is like, like you need to make the choice that you need to make and then find acceptance of yourself for making that choice that you needed to mm-hmm. make. I mean, I think the, lo- the way that I learned that is just in the long term of the doing it. Yes. Because practice. as soon as I started the practice of it, my mm-hmm. life got infinitely better and I was like well there's no other way like this is the way mm-hmm. like I, I'm not gonna keep continue to be exhausted you know every day uh when I have the option of just like taking care of my body and having much better days overall yeah. exactly yeah and then you feel better like okay so these people these the, the other people the kind of amorphous other that's out there somewhere judging you and thinking that you're lazy who cares? Fuck them. Yeah, they, 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 it's not a good group of people to... And just be super vocal about it. It's uncomfortable. It, it can be uncomfortable, but, like, the, you get used to it, honestly. And anyone who doesn't take it seriously is just not some... Or can't learn to yeah. take it seriously is just not someone to have around. Those are just people that, like, haven't had their needs met in the past, so they're, like, taking it out on people around them and, like, not wanting people around them to... Mm-hmm. feel that it's like when you hear parents sometimes or like it's, older sometimes generations sometimes it's straight up privilege though sometimes it's just straight up like they've never had a problem right yeah. Tr- tr- yeah. truly uh, yeah that makes sense yeah um have you guys ever heard heard like parents or grandparents or stuff when they get mad about like mental health issues and they're like oh when i was a kid i just had to suck it up and like mm-hmm. i didn't get therapy or i didn't get blah 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 or like mm-hmm. all of this shit it's like damn no one was listening to you like you definitely still experienced it you just were taught Mm -hmm. that you could not do anything about it or say anything about it Mm -hmm. generational trauma (laughs) yeah oh my god that's something that i'm learning i was thinking about classes and like how earlier we had like a few whatever maybe a month ago we had said oh when i start it's just gonna be me saying this is what i learned in class today in every episode and i Mm -hmm. actually i was thinking about you because in one of my classes we were learning about intergenerational trauma and family systems and all that and it's like it's literally your mom or your dad (laughs) yeah truly it's it's your mom or your dad or your grandma and grandpa next question Mm -hmm. someone said how many patrons have to sign up before we get a chosen family movie night of twilight or 50 shades (laughs) (laughs) that's a really good idea we should we should periodically do like a big like yeah uh just live not live pod but like live experience yes that'd be really fun at like a thousand patrons we should do something yeah that'd be a great idea i think we're at like 650 right now something like that oh my god that's like 350 more people that's like nothing sign up for the patreon all right let's see here hi fam very topical question for y'all what term are we using for cock blocking in wlw relationships okay oh you guys go first well i i have feelings about this i guess is are they looking for like a a vulva alternative yeah i was gonna say is this like okay 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 (laughs) this is really very my domain yeah really snatch stopping Uh. <laughs> Vag- vaginal walling <laughs> v- yeah. vaginal stone wall that's good that's good <laughs> the stone walling okay uh, this is kind of hard 
preventing. Pussy preventing. But that's what I was just going to say. Pussy preventing. Pussy. <laughs> you pussy preventer. <laughs> I got pussy prevented last night. What? No way. <laughs> Are we going to role play this? <laughs> it's too late. It's too why late. Why did I, I did it. Why did I also like turn into a cis dude when I started reacting? Bro. No but, like, way. You were also what like happened? so unsure about it. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh bro. You what about good? like a you tongue okay or like or... a finger? <laughs> oh. Uh Wait, Ashley, tell us about your feelings about this. What okay. are your feelings? I don't think, I think when a term has a feeling associated with it to a point where it has become universal like slang, mm-hmm. I don't think the, I know that labels and terms and whatever make people feel validated, but I would say cock blocking for myself. Like to me, right. cock block is a feeling. It's yeah. not cock exclusive. And (laughs) that's uh, you you heard it here first. I actually think that it can be empowering to use those terms like aggressively as like a woman or whatever, whatever it might be that I just that's my general feeling on these things. Right. You're saying we don't need a replacement. We don't need. an. uh, yeah, it's a little extra. It's it's okay to reclaim some of these things for ourselves and make cock what it means to you. What is cock right. well, what does cock mean to you? No, because I know the listeners are about to like completely one us up and just put the best like they are. other oh, versions yeah, of that comments. in our comments down below. Oh, I have yeah, no put it doubt. in the comments. That's a good idea. I like that. Then we can read them. Clam jam. A Someone clam said jam. clam jam in clam the Discord. Jam. There you go. That's there nice. It is. I like that. All right, should we do one more, like a quickie? Or should we do something else? I mean, else? that was kind of a quickie. What do you what else would we do, actually? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we do. I bombed. Well, what, did we, for like, what did we have for I dinner? bombed for we 20 just, minutes and we had to cut it. You didn't, you didn't bomb. bomb. I bombed. It was just reading a... Danny, Danny, we stop. We had a different stop, response. Stop. Danny, we, we have to cut. We have to... Mm, we, I'm, I am That's push, so I'm aggressive clam jamming in the camera. You. <laughs> I'm, I'm clam jamming. Yeah, clam jam. It feels like you're putting your hand in my face. <laughs> I am doing that. You're making me want to mess up. don't I'm, even. I'm menacing up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel like I was putting my hand in your face, even though I was. No, it's okay. It was, it was like kind of great. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, in the not, middle actually, spot today. I'm remember, I'm just, get I'm just insecure. Oh I'm God. feeling insecure in the way that I felt insecure at the very beginning of this podcast when I was doing 9-11 jokes and you guys were super unsupportive and then you realize that there's actually something really beautiful happening there and it just feels like another In 9-11? Yes. <laughs> New Yorkers coming together to support yeah. New Yorkers. Yeah. <laughs> America. But should we do one more thing? <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Should we, like, one more question, or should we talk about what we had for dinner, or what do you mean? Oh, we should talk about what we had for dinner. Guys, thank you so much for listening. What did we have for dinner? Clams. 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 (laughs) Clam and jam. Yes, clams Clam Clam and 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 some, what goes with clam? The The classic jam. Jam clams. I've never had a a slurp. Yeah. I don't always (laughs) Wait, what? I've never had a slurp. You know, well, the things you suck. Have you had a, had you ever had a clam? I can't say I have. Yeah, me neither. You need I'm to leave sure. Missouri, dude. It's actually so I sometimes am you about say, to. Sometimes you say these things to me and I'm like, what universe is Missouri in? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a clam. Hmm. What? Hmm. It's, not it's not that we're in both small guys. cities, it's that you're in big cities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess. Seattle, my biggest market. <laughs> Obviously, there was I'm no the menace for that, today. Don't. Yeah. No, there was. I got pissy, no pun intended, about something that happened that we won't be referring to <coughs> ever. The incident. The, the incident. Pissident? There's your episode title, Danny. <laughs> incident? Pissident? The incident. Okay, guys, thank you so much for listening. <laughs> <laughs> we release new episodes every Wednesday where you show the family. Do I, am I supposed to say anything else? 
Well, Logging can you off. sign up for like, the fucking <laughs> Patreon? Like, seriously, <laughs> guys. Like, how many ads do you hear on um, this? I'm signing out. <laughs> this is Mac and Jimmy. How many ads do you hear on this? Like, almost none, okay? We're yeah. just getting started. It takes years to establish these things. There's three mm-hmm. of us, all right? Mm-hmm. So, like, can you just fucking donate to the Patreon, you piece of shit? <laughs> Dad needs to keep being able to take a day off a week. <laughs> Look how calm Dad was today. Yeah, Dad was so very calm. calm. <laughs> Calm until we worked you up. And yeah, it well, was we had to you. try. And it was you. It wasn't guys me. And not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> okay, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> yeah, but- Bye. See you next week. Elena, put on <laughs> If you enjoyed this episode, go to patreon.com slash chosen family podcast for ad free episodes, monthly bonus episodes, and a private Discord where your questions get priority. I was making out with this girl. Like the hookups yeah. that I'm doing, they're so dumb. And JoJo was like, oh, this is really funny because I've asked Mac's girlfriend for advice. Oh my God. I turned beet red. We were in the bathroom. Yeah, we were fooling around. She told me to shut up. Take the strap. We're going spin the bottle style. Spin that sucker <laughs> round and round. You can blame the depression. Damn, I really am a bottom bitch. Welcome to the Chosen Family Podcast. We are your chosen <laughs> family. Every week we sit around the dinner table and we answer your questions or we don't. Unless you're a part of the Patreon. If you're a part of the Patreon, not only do we answer your questions, we give you What? Get on the Patreon, what are you doing? Patreon.com <laughs> slash Chosen Family Podcast. Chosen Family is a Forever Dog production, hosted by Ashley Gavin, Elena Joy, and Mac Injimi. Edited by Danny Jewell, executive produced by Mariah Nicholas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. Forever Dog!